Good morning. It's a morning shave. It's not early morning shave. It's not usually my style. Uh, today we have that darn Rob. Um, brush. A Fanchurian. Very dense. I'm going to take and put that in my little water cup. Water today is, uh, at this location, I believe, is, is not all that hard, so should get a great lather, um, even on troubled soaps. The razor for today is this aluminum ATT. And this is the R plate. I used the H plate before when I was using my Nasset, my old blade. But this, since I reached 100 on the Nasset, I'm kind of bringing in some other blades. We'll go back to the Nasset later. But uh, today we're going to use my Pole Silver Super Iridium. So as usual, just kind of put the blade on there. And just check, make sure. And this razor has very good alignment. It's not going to be aligned properly, at least not in my experience. Looks like it's got it locked down pretty well. Today's soap. Is Cooper in French. I don't have, I've got three of their soaps. Had them for a long time. I just haven't gotten around to, uh, to using most of them. I've got Old Goat, Black Tie, and Sandalwood and Amber. And uh, and uh, we've been talking about sandalwood fragrances lately, and uh, so I thought I would go ahead and review this one. Well, I definitely get the amber. I don't like tons of amber. I can smell some sandalwood, so at least there's that, right? It's a it's a soft soap. Definitely don't need to, um, I mean semi-soft, don't need to bloom it at all or soak it. And so we can go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get my face wet. Alright, so I approximated about 20 seconds of loading and uh, Got all foamy and overflowed the container, the tub. Then I uh, went ahead and started with uh, adding water. Nice big old foamy stuff started even before I added water. And now we have added about two teaspoons. It's a bit thin. And so I may have overwatered it because this soap may not need quite as much uh, water, or maybe I wasn't able to actually get as much loaded on my brush. Now the uh, so I added two teaspoons of water, and the the lather is still quite firm. I mean, look at that structure; holds it evil easily. Just a little bit of flex when it's thin like that. Um, it's quite a bit of lather. Um, and so it's not as elastic as usual. However, it feels kind of slippery and thin to my fingers. And so we're going to ignore my eyes and go by my fingers. Uh, a little splash of water. And since this might be a little thin, I'm not going to leave any excess on there for now. 
until we see how this lather is going to behave. Nice big spread on the fan brush. I might have some more interruptions from the kids. I am usually shaving late at night. Today I just kind of was tired from a long trip. And decided to just fall asleep instead. But I didn't want to miss out on my shave. it a little too dense. The scent is very weak. Really weak. Like I'm only getting maybe a 2 out of 10 smelling the brush from right there. Let's see if it's a good soap and if it performs and uh, protects even when kind of thin. silver. I haven't used this blade in a while. It's doing well against one and a half days growth. This R1, R seems to be about right for me here. Very comfortable. A little bit of drag. I can feel the, uh, it's not smooth, it's just comfortable. It's a nice, predictable cut. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, some pretty nice residual slickness there from the soap. So now that I've rinsed, we can put on pass number two. And sometimes with airy lathers that have a lot of uh, structure, even though they don't have very much cushion. When I say they have a lot of structure, I mean they have kind of poofy volume but then they collapse really easy when you squeeze them. Um, I think something you can do to help is to uh, just kind of keep mixing and that can, the longer you mix, sometimes the more bubbles kind of come out and it gets a little denser. Very smooth now on this pass. Feels like I did a lot of good cutting on the first pass. So, um, the ATTR1 in stainless steel treated me much differently. It was uh, much more difficult to get this kind of shave. This comfort just wasn't there. I tried it with a bunch of different blades. Um, I don't know 
if I've changed or if this is this head's just different. But this is this is very nice. I'm gonna rinse. So even when I put the whole bowl of lather up to my nose with this one, I'm getting maybe 80% amber and 20% sandalwood. So to me it's not a very good sandalwood if you're if you like that. All right, lathering up the third pass. Cold water as usual. But by the time I'm done mixing the lather, the lather temp is always just room temperature. Rinsing, however, is a different story. With the previous rinse, I, again, I got an excellent, excellent slickness and good feel, even though the lather is kind of airy. So for me, this, this razor blade and this razor are a very good combination. Very comfortable, predictable. Nice, smooth cutting. The uh, handle here feels great. It's, uh, it's not polished. And so there are tiny micro grooves there because it was, uh, you know, milled or whatever. And uh, it gives you great grip even though it's wet. I don't really like the bamboo usually, especially the polished uh, stainless steel bamboo that came with the razor rock head that I got. But this is very different because of that milling finish. Um, it's more of a matte finish. Uh, the light's not great, so you may not be able to to tell, but it's not polished, and so um, the uh, very good grip and uh, rinse. So the the scent of this soap, I'm going to say, is it about a one out of ten when you're in the shave. You can get a little bit more if you stick your face in the bowl, but to me, that's nigh unscented and. Uh, I wouldn't really put this, I'll put this at the bottom of the list, of the, my sandalwood list, where it's uh, in the category of other, and actually it's both, it's too weak, and the amber takes a much stronger position to where this sandalwood's almost, in. the sandalwood is imperceptible uh, just during the shave normally. If you bury your nose, you can probably maybe smell it. Well, I actually just did my neck pass just now, and I, it was so quick and easy, I kind of forgot to hit record, but uh, it lathered up you know, nicely, same as before, and, uh, and the, this light razor, it's very interesting. With the heavier razors, you can, you can let the weight of the razor do the work to some degree, um, especially in the downward motions, but I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I mean, the downward motion isn't a lot of what we do. The first pass has a downward motion. The rest of them are sideways or up or down or whatever. And so you don't let the weight of the razor uh, do the work in that regard. But I tell you what does happen. The, uh, the weight can give you momentum. It can give you inertia. And so instead of uh, with a lighter razor, I feel like I have to, you have to pull it through the hairs. Um, and, and that's what happens here with a heavier razor you're moving it across and it the hairs don't stop it the hairs don't slow it down uh, to a noticeable extent at least in my experience so let's I'm going to turn the I have the lights actually turned low so that it uh, so that it doesn't cause too much of a, a white balance issue I'm going to brighten them up and uh, take a look at the result that is an excellent result. 
just a few hairs have some length to them really happy with that we're good I'm gonna make sure my rinse is good and then clean up now in the absence of uh, some good sandalwood fragrance that's got some strength to it um, I'm glad I have on hand this balm right here from Lather and Wood and that was an Amazon buy early in my wet shaving days um, the, the early part of my wet shaving days and if I use too much of it my skin will get a little irritated however the sandalwood scent on it is good nice and authentic fairly uh, unobstructed that's good So here is how much lather I had left, and that's about what I'm comfortable with, just a little extra for margin. So 20 seconds seems to be about right, and even though it mixed up a little a thin to the feel, it was very easy to feel and discern my fingertip ridges, uh, fingerprint ridges. Um, uh, it, was, it was still, and this is a good lesson. Um, you know, definitely don't ditch a lather if you kind of inadvertently add too much water because this one performed really well uh, Despite having two teaspoons of water in it. I guess it didn't need quite that much um, I did keep I did keep stirring it for a little bit longer than maybe usual Just to kind of try to make it uh, condense those bubbles a little bit and make it more a little more dense So uh, reporting in on this brush um, this Fanchurian from that darn Rob man. I'm I'm really liking the uh, The handle it's large It's uh, ergonomic. I've got big hands now. Here's something I look for and it's uh, it Turns out to be a really important factor for me You can see how we have the bulbous end and then it comes down into the valley um, You need I need a little enough ramp up to where it covers my fingertip See, like that. There are several uh, brushes that I have where it comes right in the middle of the fingertip. See there? Not here, but there. And during the shave, that ridge is pressing into my fingertip and being a little on the uncomfortable side. And so um, if, I, I, if I look at a handle design, I'm just kind of drying it off here. Also trying to uh, help that splay to open up more. These tips are not super soft. They're soft and doable, um, but they're not gonna win any prizes for softness. And I think we're dry enough. Nice dense knot. Even on the even on the brush afterwards, there's not much of a scent. So there we go. Um, this, I don't know if there's a geometry difference between the ATT stainless and this aluminum, but this one works really well for me, or maybe it happens to be the pole silver blade, but, uh, this blade, this was the fifth use, I believe, so it's still well within a nice little zone of comfort. Um, I could easily shave with this, you know, the rest of my life. It's a nice, comfortable setting for me. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll try the uh, mild setting, but this was very comfortable. Um, I've got no irritation, zero. Um, skin feels great. So really happy with this, uh, this R plate for the aluminum. The only ding that I might have against it is, like I said earlier, you kind of have to pull it through your hair um, instead of kind of letting the steel, the weight of it, uh, just run through the hairs as you're moving. You, you do feel a little bit of the drag, um, but it's so light and nimble. It's very easy to maneuver. It's a nice, it's a nice razor, and I can see why people like it. So, unfortunately, very little sandalwood comes through um, with this particular soap for me. Um, I discerned no sandalwood during the shave. I picked up just a little bit of amber, but uh, it's just the way it is for this one. A good performer, 
lather didn't feel particularly rich or thick or anything like that could be user error i could have put a little too much water in it but to its credit it still gave me a nice uh, nice slick face good protection uh, even despite the fact that i may have lightened it up just a hair uh, too thin but it still performed so good on it good on the base you know i think it must be a good base but this particular one the strength the scent strength is just not uh, anywhere near i would prefer it to be so i'll have to put probably put this in the pass on to somebody else pile but at least we've logged another sandalwood just to be able to uh, for those folks who may be coming that like me really enjoy a more authentic sandalwood we'll be able to steer them away from this one um, if they want a scent that's more discernible.